So Sonika, firstly, welcome to our the special uh, dual session of saying goodbye to the online ten and welcoming online eleven. Uh, some you, uh, before I uh, start the interaction with Sonika, is all of you will keep your videos and audios on. Questions, if you have any for her, will be typed in the column or chat column. Keep your videos, audios off. If you have any questions at the end, I will choose which question to pose. And then I will may tell that person to ask, or I may ask that question to Sonika, and she would answer the questions. Nobody would make unnecessary noise. Keep your audios off. Don't try to disturb. In case it disturbs the instructions with the admin, that is Arjun is to please remove that guy. So and we rejoin after he adheres to the instructions. Right. So this will be the. Oh, so welcome Sonika, and now uh, before wasting any more time of this precious time, the time you have joined us. i would like you to you know share with us your first and foremost your preparation for ssb and i believe it was your first chance so how did you how did you visualize ssb and how did you prepare for ssb and especially with the help of online so what was that experience of you know, one month or two months whatever you spent in preparation uh sure sir uh, first of all i would thank you like i thank you every time it it is like i don't i do not belong to any defense background so uh, i was little worried that it is my first attempt i don't know what fsb is going to be like or something but somehow i found this amas institute from instagram and i talked to you that very moment i learned that you know the first conversation i learned ki like it's not mandatory to go and meet like if i follow your words whatever you are speaking that will be enough and it started like i had three weeks course with her so like what i followed was like before the course i didn't know anything much about ssb or something like sir all introduced what is the processor how you have to deal with small small things so i followed is to listen to his each and every word before starting of class every day he will tell something about one task that we do not have to do there like for gd he will tell that uh, don't instruct others and for story writing he will tell do not make nikes like this small things he will tell in very simple language i focused on them like because uh, we can hear for for like of the ssb from youtube instagram everywhere it is there that this is the test ppt it is there then you have to go, do this do this but the difference i felt with sir is he he tell things which are not anywhere else like very small things like uh, if we take the example of do not make nikes in the that story so uh, i did not hear it anywhere i did not think of it any time like even when i started writing stories uh, my first story i wrote with lots of cuts and i i wrote, made her a poor student something like that i remember that story i called sir that day that sir i did very much blunder what do i do then he told the next morning ki you you do not have to make nikes like you all well know the meaning of this so whenever sir is speaking i feel listening to his words and the other faculties are there listen to the words is sufficient it's it does matter that we are we cannot see him in person otherwise we could have learned much more but now also if we focus on the words like uh, even sir tell about us like maintaining our daily routine we should sleep early we should wake up early so that we stand attentive in the class so i think following his words will be enough and like uh, because if we go in person also then also he will be speaking then we have to listen yeah he can scold us more in person that is one thing like he can make us to read and focus here he cannot like you know force us to do that so if we voluntarily listen to sir's words like the little things he tell or other teachers tell while they are teaching like apart from the syllabus they tell the task how do we have to perform but with each task sir always tell a small trick the trick of what not to do i always focused it and i always not noted it down in my notebook like uh, sir on the very first it told to maintain a data diary separate diary the notes like we can divide them as per the subjects gtho iu and all i maintained them and i used to write these small tips in highlights that do not make nikes speak less but speak effective like for discussion also as i have told that do not speak much you do not you do not have to speak for 5 minutes all over by yourself 
speak in crisp points and that all i used to write because whenever sir start a class or end a class he focus on few words with more intensity like kam bolna hai so you should write them down and read them ki ha mujhe kam bolna hai i do not have to be a hero there ki tum mat bolo tum bolo like mera agenda was that only ki i have to listen to his words because he is speaking them all from experience uh, i did not know this before going to ssb actually when i went to ssb before every task i would remember ki what sir have taught me and when i implemented after completion of the task i did realize that sir was right like he spoke all this from experience because uh, one instance is from jd uh, sir told us one thing like choose a lead and stick to the lead so and that like i remember that before task that i have to follow sir's instruction i started doing this after the jd ended i noticed apart from me none of my group member followed this thing like following the lead like they started with one topic and they deviated to different leads so at that very point i realized ki like listening to sir is enough because knowledge is a different thing we can uh, you know gain knowledge from anywhere but wisdom comes from experience and we are very grateful that sir is sharing that wisdom with us and kind of very lucky enough to be in his batch and we could found him so please listen to each and every word of sir like uh, sanika uh, they all must be having a doubt that how did you pick up the, the outdoor part because everybody thinks ye ye to ho hi nahi sakta online mein kaise outdoor ho raha hai so how did you uh, remember those things which we covered in the outdoor aspect because it was all done virtually only yes sir so, uh, for outdoor part like for gd and all you had told instructions when coming to the field task pgt half group task and all that all sir demonstrated us with the, those structures first thing second sir used to upload one video every day from the ground like all video of the students also sir used to go to the ground and upload a video in instagram or youtube like we all can found find in his channel in youtube these videos like uh, their structures will be different sir but you had given us the basic idea of fulcrum and the physics behind it in class with the demo structures and also i did watch your videos on youtube like how like example of how it can be done and again what i'll say is after knowing the physics behind it after like we go to the structure there we will be able to find it it's not if a very technique if that means if you pick up the technique then even yes, if you sir. see when you see the other videos you'll understand oh this is the same technique is being utilized then you yes, can like, like you you told us the basic physics behind it and then after yeah. if we see in every video the same thing is you know guma fira ke wohi hota hai wohi so <laughs> right. so if we find the basic thing and after going to ground we will be able to implement it like if we remember that sir told this is how fulcrum will work so even in different structures we will be able to do it sir i i was able to do it and prashant told he was able to do it yeah prashant so, also picked up the same way he never uh, had visited us so now let's go to gandhi nagar uh, sonika how was the experience how was the stage one how did you how many girls reported what was the kind of competition how did you compete how did you come out to be winner in stage one then what was your ssb experience take us over slowly slowly and giving us the important milestones which you <clears throat> did there yes sir i would start with each task and what strategy i implemented so uh, first day we reported we were 151 girls there then we reported at 630 then we were taken to the fsp there we were given instructions of how the process will begin then we had breakfast and moved to the examination hall freshers were separated and repeaters were separated so at that stage like in three parts complete freshers screening over screen out earlier and repeaters so for freshers they gave us long instructions like for oir for ppdt and all so i when we go to the ppdt see uh, like what afsana ma'am used to give us questions like i could see the similarity and afsana ma'am told us a book from Uh, like arihan then she told to practice and actually the similar pattern was there oir was not a very big deal for me because i did practice well if we practice then only it is like you know oir comes more well because for freshers they give sufficient time but for repeaters they give a little less of time i guess so oir i uh, attempted 98 of 100 like that 
तो दैट बूस्टेड माई कॉन्फिडेंस की ओके एक टेस्ट अच्छा हो गया नेक्स्ट मूव टू नेक्स्ट देन पीपीडीटी फॉर दे दे गिव अस इंस्ट्रक्शंस देन वी हैड 5 मिनट्स बिफोर दे शोड द पिक्चर सो आई जस्ट यू नो लाइक कंप्लीटली रिमाइंडेड माय क्लासेस एंड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस आर टोल्ड दैट कीप द इंट्रोडक्शन शॉर्ट कीप अ शॉर्ट एंड क्रिस्प इंट्रोडक्शन वन लाइनर इंट्रोडक्शन इज एनफ देन डू नॉट मेक अ नाइकी ऑफ कोर्स देन एक्शंस लॉट्स ऑफ एक्शंस एंड दैट शुड बी रियलिस्टिक सुपरमैन नहीं बनाने हैं एंड दिस writing the real life what we can do relating to us and there and then a good and should be there i remembered all this and also sir, just because of practice i remembered who and circle karna like uh, hero number of characters and all then action of story we shall write very short so while i was writing story i was able to like you know feel ki mai bahut acha likh rahi hu just because I was matching my story with the points you told. कि नहीं एक एक point short लिखना intro short and all. Then coming to narration part, we were taken to the discussion room in the GTO hall. Then when we went there, our narration began. So they were not interested in listening to the whole story because my, three people before me were like starting to start. There is a girl. She was studied in this school. Then she goes to college. Then she becomes this. so they used to stop her i was the fourth person in my group to speak the story so i decided in that time that i will not be speaking the whole story i will say action and theme of my story just because they are not interested in listening why shall i you know repeat whole story so i went like this ki matlab this is the action and the theme of my story is this woman is trying to do this thing by these actions so Uh, then our group discussion was like as everyone's experiences it was not good uh, like there were uh, there is there was there was one girl sir she was dominating everyone like let me speak just number this please let me speak just number this you shut up let her speak like this thing was going on first she will speak second the person she want to will speak that okay. was going on so at that point also i remember that sir have told us not to be this because everyone there is to get screening at that point we are all there to screen and we all are equals we cannot command anyone that you do this you do not do this so i did stick to this uh, statement ki nahi mujhe sirf apna part bolna hai i have to tell my crisp point and i do not have to say you shut up you speak so i will suggest also ki that do not do this because she got screened out sir So then that's all. Then then yeah. we. Uh, we got how many got screened in after one fifty four? After this, sir, fifty six girls got screened in. Okay, almost just about one third of them, right? Yes, sir. One third got screened in. So let's then go to the psychological test. How, how did you tackle? Yes, you find it easy or not? Yes, sir. Next day morning, our psychology test was there. Six thirty, we had to report there. So like. Uh, If I say I'll start with TAD. So TAD the same. Do not make Nikes. Make real life stories because if we make Rati Rati Kahaniya, like uh, I asked sir, not me, sir. One person from our batch asked one question from sir. He sir, why do not you give us stories for the pictures? We do not. We are not able to make good stories. Why don't you give us the stories? So sir told me if I will give you the stories, then it will be different from other stories you will write. and it will show the difference so write the story that you can relate to your life and again that should not be like i am very poor then i became ias officer please please don't do this no no one likes this like even we don't like it ki kisi ne likh diya ki wo bahut gareeb tha then one day he became ias by miracle aisa nahi hota in real life so stick to that like tad also write short tads like 8 to 10 liners 10 to 12 liners like that and do not make nikes and write short introduction and lots of action but the action should be the, that should be realistic because i i like after i got recommended i am reading stories of my friends they are making her ias officer and she is changing the road routes officers do not do this so stick to what you are making designation if you are making him a uh, engineer make sure like he know about engineering and that should be reflected in the story if we are making him a scientist making him to you know learn about uh, making him to invent the vaccine of covid 19 imagine so he must be 
thorough with the knowledge of this because if we write superficial things of the department ki humne usko red cross mein dal diya but we do not know what red cross do so that will be reflected ki hame humne superficially bas likh diya hai hero banane ke liye make hero and choose hero of the field you have good knowledge about and for that you can just you know like regarding agriculture you can read success stories of people and kind of stuff like be thorough that what your hero is doing so uh, and i prepared my blank story before and uh, because like sir told us ki before and we prepare blank story and even i prepared two stories because if in case one of my story get mixed up with the picture like that already came in prior to the stories so i would suggest that before and you prepare the tag story then coming to wat i attempted my all 60 wats and because of we had in class uh, we had in class like uh, wat practice complete 60 wats three or four practices we had so sir also uh, sir checked them in class itself and he told what not to do in wats then again like in tat what we do is we make our hero like we choose a person and we make him the hero of the story right in wat choose the word and make the word hero of the sentence like uh, uh, how i will say is ki let's take an example of word fear fear most of the people will make the sentence courage overcomes fear practice overcomes fear of performance but uh, here fear is not a hero of your sentence like fear of fear of rules refrains crime here fear is a hero of the sentence just like we make hero in tat same way let's make the word word of the word we are given let's make it the sentence hero and then coming to srt sir srt you did all 60 i am so happy to hear that was no, very no, good no, i wd i did all 60 uh, srt all 60. i did very good. Yeah. yeah how many srt What? 46 only i could do sir 46 is a good number anything beyond 45 is a good attempt right yeah actually we we do not, do not have wall, clock there so yeah you don't have that's that the reason you, know, like, you don't know how to how to manage time right yes sir so, so let's like what to your uh, gto grounds so broadly you have already told them how you tackle the site so how was the yes. gto yeah gd gto sir uh, i told first i'll start with G- gdi i think i told that stick to the lead thing yeah I gd you already it. told yeah yes sir so gp yeah, uh, so right. gp uh, like we were 10 minutes to write that uh, i i was able to complete just last one sentence of closer was left that they go reach in time i was like i wrote very short and crisp points like you taught us na like divide in four parts like if there are four tasks divide in four parts p1 yeah. p2 p3 p4 <laughs> reference you should write like i followed that pattern that you told so then okay. uh, we in gp discussion started so actually gp was a kind of easy discussion for us our group was on the same page actually everyone was agreeing to what we were saying okay. and i participated very well in gp like i i discussed two tasks like i explained two two of the problems that okay. Okay. so my group ag- agreed to that then coming to sir pgd we were all freshers like all were those people who had never been to any coaching or like you know like i was from the online class and other people were also from online classes only from different places so none of us had the ground experience actually uh, for pgt we were able to finish first first obstacle very easily like with that you uh, told no fulcrum we have to make fulcrum like that and if yeah, first that is fine they if, then all these guys will learn right now they will not understand right yes sir so uh, we we started it like uh, in first obstacle we can use only one with one support system only we can go Helping the second me. one yes sir second one we stuck actually second one we kind of got stuck okay. that was little little tricky but after some time our gdo sir kind of given us help ki i'll tell you one way you, if you can do it that way you, you, you do that third part sir we somehow did actually we could complete only three obstacles in pgt okay so pgt was not so great and but i in half group task i was able to like you know give idea within seconds from like uh, one structure you told us for i don't remember exactly the structure but some loop thing something search i saw in your video so okay. i followed it there in agt so after we go there na sir like 
if we see the ground we will be able to figure it out like if we keep our mind open do gd very well then we will be able to figure it out with you know fresh and good mind ki kuch ho sakta hai so it went like that so, then right. come to my yeah yeah please carry on ah uh, so command task uh, like i was seventh person from my group to be called for command task so i was given the like uh, there is a sequence the medium tough more like structures for command task so i was i got the last structure that was kind of very tough so sir first set to introduction like the five uh, what we say yeah, the five like points, five points introduction yeah. you taught us in for yes sir same, you wrote in first same, class like same, your name same 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 right. sequence sir except same sequence tell your name place uh, parents what what your parents told your hobbies and what you currently pursuing i was like okay sir ye to mere ko yaad hai chodo <laughs> i will speak then he asked about like what i'll do if i don't get in air force then we went to the task sir like uh, i was able to figure it out within one minute because actually it was raining so they were not asking to perform just uh, you know make the bridge and show us how you will do so i asked my help us that you make the bridge that way but so then he changed the structure for me like he told me red color is there uh, not there assume red color is there then how you will do then i i sold that to that again he asked me third time then okay assume here also red color is there now what you will do so it was kind of lots of grilling there he was smiling like okay i'll see how, how you will do now so then uh, command task like four five people called me sir actually what happened was ki in my group i was the person like very active in sports and all so okay. like everyone was calling me for like command task that she is strong call her she is strong call her okay. as help so i i guess that was the reason that sir was grilling me so much that okay i'll see how what what you are <laughs> everyone is calling <laughs> then sir coming to le- lecture a topic Uh, I got my four topics. First was defense acquisition, second drones, third is sex ratio, fourth was Aadhaar card, and out of these four, three were in the booklet that you have sent us. Like uh, uh, Aadhaar card was there, sex ratio was there, and the drones no drones was not there. Two were there. So Aadhaar card I have read it like in book that when it started and all. Like I remembered one or two. facts from that booklet not more but i was able to speak complete three minutes okay. and guys I, i just want to share this thing ki jab mera first class tha lecture ka like first time you were to speak i chose sports in india ki like i know lots of about sports and i can speak on it but it was very horrible i could speak only for two minutes so that day sir told few points about lecture he will be telling you and have already told you before so follow them and i was really able to do my lecture very well like organized way introduction then what is aadhar card like pros what are its cons and what is the what is government doing for it and what are the final like conclusion i structured it very well as sir told ki structure karke chalo introduction do positives negatives kya ho sakta hai and what are our opinions as conclusion i followed the same pattern so and this Okay, then we did not had individual obstacles because of rain. Like Gandhi Nagar, actually many of the batches did not have individual obstacles for girls. So because it was raining and they said someone might get hurt. And then final group task, we like we got stuck in that. Actually, we could not finish final group task properly. Then sir had this, and then we were able to do. It. So. Yeah. So that was the GTS. So overall, uh, if I uh, kind of ask you. Overall, overall, if I ask you about the GTO task, how did you, how would you rate yourself in the group? Like, would you contribute really good, or was a lot of you know problems with each other? How did you handle the group in the? Group task? Okay, sir. Uh, like uh, before day, like we had GTO on our fourth day, like including screening day. So we had a good bonding, and like our group like talked very well, and we had good bonding. So and like. we had people like i had my group mates in night for preparing for some sports data for their interview and for gd topics also we discussed so we had a great bonding and the group was very supporting sir like people were supporting each other's ideas and like i followed that thing of you ki 
जीटीओ में ज्यादा बोलना नहीं है लाइक यू नो स्पीक लेस एंड स्पीक इफेक्टिव दैट शुड बी इफेक्टिव व्हाट वी आर स्पीकिंग सो आई फॉलो दिस थिंग सर सो पीपल वर्स लिसनिंग टू मी एंड आई रियली फील कि जीटीओ वाज माय बेस्ट पार्ट इवन दो यू आर सेइंग इन स्टार्टिंग कि जीटीओ में अच्छा नहीं कर पाएंगे बिकॉज़ ग्राउंड नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है सर इफ यू फॉलो दिस इंस्ट्रक्शंस ना बिकॉज़ अगर जीडी अच्छा हो जेपी अच्छा हो जाएगा देन वी गो टू पीजीटी विल गेट कॉन्फिडेंस एंड दिस थिंग्स गो इन कॉन्फिडेंस या इंटरव्यूंग same place so she asked me lots of lots of srds lots of srds and she made me really comfortable answer yeah one thing i'll say jo ciqs puche the na ma'am ne like i could not believe my ears ki jo aapne pehle likhwaya tha class mein aur jo uske baad gosar ne puche the mujhse the same sequence not a single question up not a single question down none of the questions extra <laughs> it was like i didn't know. तो so, सर मुझे वो हार्ड वर्क नहीं करना पड़ा था कि मुझे सीक्वेंस याद रखनी है लाइक आई कुड फोकस ऑन माय आंसर ऐसा हो गया था सो आई वाज वेरी हैप्पी एंड लाइक वाओ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेल सेम क्वेश्चंस व्हाट यू हैव प्रैक्टिस हियर सेम शी वाज आस्किंग ओके यस सर सो लाइक इंटरव्यू स्टार्टेड विद लाइक हाउ आई एम ट्रैवलिंग देन व्हिच प्लेस आई एम फ्रॉम देन शी आस्क्ड मी लाइक इफ आई यू आर योर प्लेस आल्सो नो यू आर प्रिपेयर्ड इन द क्लास आल्सो Yes, sir. Like, sir, to told us na ki pehle uh, prepare your place, your journey places, and like all whatever sir told us to write these prank questions. That only she asked. None, none question was new actually. So then <coughs> she asked me if I'm really from Haryana. You know, like, nahi, tum lagti nahi ho. She even switched to Haryana me too. You know, kind of divert me. Ki tum lagti nahi ho Haryana ki ho. I said, ma'am, I am from Haryana. She said this four five times. Ma'am, ma'am. So, Gary, no. If you are from Haryana, you haven't stayed in Haryana for a long period. I said, no, ma'am. It is not like that. So she verified it four or five times. So I will suggest that you don't say anything. They they will not leave you until like you know. Even if you are telling the truth, tell it firmly. They must believe you. Ki, because you don't. Oh, kisi tarah se nikal lenge. And if you don't say anything, I will suggest talk to sir. He will tell you how to say anything. So practice karte rahe. Yeah. 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 Ye
family CIQ, she asked the same questions that we have prepared. But she could she did not let me to complete the CIQ. In middle, she started asking SRTs, like, uh, since you're very close to your father, like, what did you learn from him? Okay, I, I told him, ma'am, I learned this thing from him. Then she asked, okay, where did you implement this thing? Give me one example from your life that you implemented what you learned from your father. So I, so I told her that. I think she was a very practical lady, the interview officer. Yes, sir. A few practical yes, sir. Things, right? And like try to was, judge you on she, those answers. She was digging that, okay, what life I have led. Ki, okay. Then she asked me, ki, matlab, you went to Hyderabad for college. So tell me, ki, wa pe kya problems hoye? I said, ma'am, I have problem nahi hua. just because sort of language difference tha, starting my problem. Hua. Okay, language, uh, apart from language, what problems you had? I told her, no, ma'am, no, no such problem. No food, no food difference problem. I said, I adjusted well, ki, matlab, nahi hua mujhe problem. but she was very persistent on this. I said, I problem. Batao. So many problems hue hai. Batao, I, I, I basically had no problems. Then she went to, when I told her my, like, in education section that I was in sports and I was captain of my team. So she asked me, like, since you were very junior in university, there were master's seniors, PhD seniors, and they were in a team also. Being a captain, when you instructed them, they, was there some situation they did not agree to you? Okay, assume there is a situation they did not agree to you. How you tackle them? Like, they are your seniors. You cannot command them. But you are a captain. What you will do? So that was the toughest question for me, actually. I okay. felt a little difficulty in that, but sir, I answered. I'm sure, know, I'm sure you must have answered well. What about the current affairs, GK? Did that she touch upon that? Uh, GK, sir, after uh, family Air Force related to issues to Air Force. Uh, after family CIQ, when we went to the hobby section, there she asked me like, uh, I I have written reading as my hobby. What I read regular. So I told ma'am, I read books often, but the newspaper I read regularly. So she told me that give me one current affair that is of national importance. So I told this India-China conflict. So I prepared all the one, nearly CPAC, OPEC, everything. But she did not ask me all this. She asked me, tell me the neighbors of China. Oh my god. Very difficult question. <laughs> so I was like, ma'am, I prepared Galwan Valley, please ask me. <laughs> what is China famous? But then, sir, like, uh, humne wo kiya tha na, China Pakistan Economic Corridor. Yes. So, Jinzung, Pro Jinzung province, se jo neighboring states, the countries, se, there were eight countries. So, I remembered those eight countries and I spoke them. Imam, ye hai. So she was like, there are more. I said, ma'am, I know that these much only. So, she said, fine. So, she did not ask me further GK questions, but she then asked me, like, why I want to join Air Force. So I told mom, like, uh, family, my cousin is there, and I follow him. Kind of two, three examples I gave. Then she okay. asked me, like, which branch I would like to opt. So I told mom, Adam, uh, like, ATC I would go for. Then she asked, why not fighter controllers? And do you know what fighter controllers do? And you should go for fighter controllers. Like then in the interview, no further questions. Like, ah, yes, sir. She asked me, who is our air chief marshal? Who is five-star officer of Air Force? And then I took her agency. Then she asked him, who is his equivalent in army? Like five star equivalent. So that's all from GK part, sir. Great, uh, great. So uh, how much time did the interview last? Overall, one or 45 one minutes hour, or one hour? One hour, one hour plus. 15, one hour, 15 minutes, sir. So got a very long interview. So then, uh, uh, your, uh, yeah, and uh, let's go to the conference. Uh, how was it? Yes, sir. For conference, they like uh, uh, my test number was 16, so I had to wait some time. So, like, I did not wait outside for my conference, like, no, a couple of seconds. That's it. Like, they ring the bell, first person came out, and I went in. That's it. So, they first asked me, How is my stay? I told, Sir, it is wonderful. They asked me, Why it is wonderful? I explained, Sir. Then they asked, How it is wonderful? And I was like, Is it different? Okay. So then they asked me like which uh, like, which is will be my preference Indian Army Air Force or Navy and if Air Force why it is Air Force so I answered with the speed and technology of 21st century Navy then then they asked like which branch I will opt for then he like uh, sir the president sir he said 
are you from are you for flying branch i said no sir i am from ground duty so i got a compliment that you are very fit for flying why not flying then okay. i explained <laughs> i do not have a math so they asked me which branch i'll go for like i told sir fighter controllers so he asked me what fighter controllers do so same question was in interview also so i explained mm -hmm. so he asked me will you be able to handle the pressure of like you know atc and fighter controllers have the maximum pressure will you be able to handle this i said sir sure i will be then he asked this question again are you sure sir i am very sure then he asked which is your favorite uh, aircraft which is oh. fighter aircraft then i said sir sukhoi mk30 so he asked now rafale is here why sukhoi Like, mm. like like Rafael now, and then I explained the technical advantages of Sukhoi and all. So that was it, sir. Then they said, "Okay, come go." Yeah. So I think listening to you had told me once earlier after you landed uh, back, and you know, listening to it again has you know a lot of revived me also what what all you underwent, and that is very interesting narration. And uh, if anyone has a question, you can type it. well i just chat with uh, sonika to ask some other points if you have any want to ask any question you can type it then i read the question sonika overall what tips would you like to give them these all students are uh, either about to join us or they are finishing what tips would you like to give and just two three or four important tips where yes, they sir. could uh, benefit them in their ssbs yes sir uh, first thing i would suggest is maintain your data diary that will be very much useful in gd in gd you can add technical points with data diary and also it will help in lecture it again because if we get some good topic of lecture it and we have facts and data that will be great thing sir second thing for story writing stick to your base stick to your basic and when you are making a hero something be sure you know the profession because do not write superficial things from the profession they will catch it and it will be bad then do not write long in long stories write short crisp introduction and good short stories without nike please without nike ma no, i have to and teach them nike yeah they, some of them were asking what is nike as i don't worry i teach you <laughs> this is nike yeah. sarvesh sel be adidas don't be nike yeah. <laughs> so oh. So be confident. Think, and, yeah. And what about uh, you know your preparation for a GK and current affairs? How do you what do you suggest to them? What? Ah, uh, sir, so, like for GK and current affairs, like DR sir used to teach us, and he he could not complete all the topics in class, but he told us topics we actually have to read. So I wrote that wrote them down, and I searched them from internet, made small notes of like five six lines of every topic, like ASEAN. I wrote five lines. Sir, I wrote five lines. Like sir told us the topic. I am sure they are also told the topics, so we can find from internet. Like it is a better thing to write by ourselves, sir, rather than getting from a booklet or if you are giving us notes, it's better because we will remember them. So like whatever topics sir are telling, we should search them on internet, make short notes, and that helps me a lot. Right. So uh, from my side, that will be all, and I think the students don't have any questions. They have uh, been totally, you know, impressed with your uh, narration, right? As others Thank also you. have been earlier. So I would. Uh, anyway, so Guru Prasad is asking, ma'am, how much time would you like to, you know, give to GK? So he's about to join us. He is not yet joined us, ma'am. How much time would you use to put in for GK interview? GK part of the preparation. Okay. So, like for JK, the class we used to get with sir, and apart from it, approx, like if I include newspaper, that will be two hours, sir. one hour for newspaper reading. From newspaper, we get the current affairs and more content to speak and vocabulary, like yeah. that improves our English also. Then yeah. one hour for the like sir gave us topics in the first week itself. So every day I used to go through two, three, two, three topics to make short notes. You know, do not make it a burden for last days. From starting, if we start doing it two topics per day, three topics per day, read them, revise them. You know, approx one hour for that all GK stuff, sir. Yeah, one hour um, if they devote, that should be more than enough. One hour, one yeah. and a half hour, right? Yeah. Uh, Raj is asking negative story. Raj, don't worry, we'll teach you all this, right? So don't worry about the negative stories. How that, to handle that is, all that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That like will help me. Yeah, we'll we'll teach all that. Anybody else? Any questions? So anyway, our time is also running out. So thank you so much, Sonika, for joining. Your tie is still pending. You know, any of the time when you are free, you let me know. We will like to give you the tie. And 
also visit uh, the institute when it opens so thank okay. you so much for joining us my gratitude and uh, all the best to you we wish you to we wish that you come very high in merit and soon thank join you, the afa academy jai hind thank you sir